Today I'm going to try and run this Bolex M8 Standard 8 projector for what Stephen sent me in the post. So this was one of two package movies he sent me, the other being the Universal 8 double album, Super 8 double album of 1941. Might give that a try on another Super 8 projector after we've had a go with this M8. But I have fired this up a few times to just to check it doesn't blow up, so fingers crossed it's still alright. And it's all working, even the lamp, which might be 50 years old by now, I really don't know. I've had this projector probably 25 years. I've never changed the lamp, so goodness only knows when that was changed before. So, let's see if I can thread this little standard eight package movie up of Laurel Hardy and see what it is. Probably not quite enough leader on this, like none. Hey, might have spliced some more on there for me, Stephen, but can't have everything, can you? Right, let's see what happens. I'll put that back first. Oh, the lamp again. I think it's picking up a bit of flicker there, but that's because we're not running at 25 frames a second. We have to lock these things in, so I'm recording this on video at 25 frames a second. That means the film needs to really run at 25 frames. And without that, you do see a bit of pulsating on the light. There we are. Right, I'll show you how this rewinds now, which is quite clever. It's a manual process. Be a bit fiddly to do these things when you haven't done them for a while on film. Particularly these little gauges, the 8mm gauges. There was actually a 4mm gauge for people who really wanted to save money, but of course 4mm probably meant a 2mm picture area. So it never looked exactly cinematic. That's how it rewinds. These little 50 foot reels run about three to four minutes. Closer to four, I think, with standard eight. But we only saw a little section of it there. And they were great little collectibles, particularly for children. And as children, my brother and I, well, my parents bought us quite a few Charlie Chaplin's, Lauren Hardy or two, but we progressed on to other things in later years. But the 50 foot packages were the I suppose the presence of choice for the children to keep them amused and every time the holiday films came out which my father had shot we'd hassle him to put on a Charlie Chaplin or a Mighty Mouse or something like that and um, right. and we really got what we wanted but as the years went on we used to bully my father even more and we used to get these silent reels on and my brother did have plenty of 200 foots as well which ran for about 10 minutes and they were even more fun. Right, I'll let that cool, then I'm going to put a Super 8 projector up here and we'll try 1941. 
This is a Silma Blue Memory Stereo 90. This was one of the last mass production, well I don't think it was very mass produced, Super 8 projectors that was ever made. Silma had bought out Umid by this time and this was a play on earlier Silma machines but with all these electronics added to make it more like something ready for the video age. So all sorts of gadgets and gizmos in here which really means there's more to go wrong but when they run they're really rather nice. So. Let's get this threaded up with 1941. Hopefully I can remember how to do this. I haven't actually used this for quite a long time. On here one of the buttons is full thread. Take it up properly. Looks like it has. Love it when a plan comes together. Not the best picture you'll ever see on Super 8 and it has turned a bit red and ordinarily when I'm screening a film print it'll be behind that porthole there and with the lenses I've got I can just about fill this screen not quite this entire width with a flat film like this but with it masked off it does fill quite nicely There we are, sound back on. Very good sound on this one. You can certainly see the flickering on this. As we're running at 24 frames a second rather than 25. Right, there we are. 8mm and Super 8 in one video. I've got a few other interesting projectors, so if this proves to be popular, maybe I'll get a few of those out and give them a run. See if the lamp still work after many years lying dormant, just like that Bolex M8. Until the next video, bye-bye for now.